What is going on, Detroit Tigers fans? AJ Riley back with another edition of The Corner to talk about Detroit Tigers baseball, which I'm sure is not at the top of your priority list right now because the team's 2-7. and seven. After nine games, they have a horrendous run differential, but we're not going to break down the series. We're not going to look at the upcoming series or anything like that. We want to talk today about Austin Meadows. Now, it's been... Uh, a couple days since Saturday that the team placed him on the 10-day IL for mental health issues, anxiety specifically, and I've sat on it a couple of days, but I can't sit on it any longer because too much of the conversation is about what Austin Meadows is not doing for us as a Tigers organization, and not enough of the conversation is about can he get better, will he get better, I hope that he does get better. Listen, it may not be fun to hear, but wins on the field do not matter when a human being is dealing with mental health anxiety. Flat out, Austin Meadows does not need your criticism right now. He needs your support. And you may sit back and you go, oh, well, that's easy to say. The guy makes millions. I don't care how much money he makes. We have a man that is dealing with mental health issues. So let's show him the support that he needs. It's easy to sit back and criticize from a couch a baseball player who is better at baseball than you or I have ever dreamed of being. But it goes to a completely different level when the play on the field is affected by something that is out of his control. And as a fan base, what does it say about us when we're sitting here comparing him to Isak Paredes, who is not the same baseball player that he is, and complaining about the trade that was made because Austin Meadows has only been able to participate in 42 games for the Detroit Tigers as of right now because of what he is dealing with? If you are more concerned about the impact of the organization or on the organization than you are about this human being getting better, that says a lot more about you than it does anything else. Austin Meadows needs help. He needs time to get right. And he should be, as a human, treated as such with the ability to get right. Because his life off the field is is more important than what he does on the field. I don't care what your thoughts are about his statistics. I don't care what your thoughts are on the trade that Avila made, which arguably was a better trade that Avila made. One of the better ones. Austin Meadows is an all-star caliber player. He has multiple seasons of 30 home runs or close to 30 home runs. He walks at a 10% clip, strikes out just a little bit more than that. He is the type of profile player, when he is right, that you want on this team. So it's our job, and it's incumbent upon us as fans, not to break down somebody when they're already hurting, but to support them, just like the team has gathered around and been like, Austin, what do you need? What can we do for you? How can we help? Our response should be, colored more with empathy than it is with the criticism that has been seen. Think, keyboard warriors sitting around tossing around the word like soft or get rid of them or cut. Like, seriously, this is what we have debased ourselves to because of whatever reason? Like, how unhappy do you have to be that you have to cut down a player who's dealing with mental health issues just because maybe you're unhappy with yourself? I don't know. But it needs to stop because it's unnecessary and it's unacceptable. Now, at the end of the day, the Tigers are 2-7. and seven. At the end of the day, they have to get things turned around. But more important than that is Austin Meadows getting the help that he needs. That needs to be the forefront should that impact the things that happen on the field? No, listen, this opens the opportunity. They now get to see what Akil Badu is going to do. For however long Austin needs to be off to get right, he needs that time, and he should be afforded that time. 
which then gives Scott Harris the ability to evaluate other players, which 2023 was always going to be about evaluation anyways. It's why you did not see many large free agent signings in the offseason, because 2023 was purely evaluative. What do we have, and how can I fix this broken roster? Well, they have a spot now that they can evaluate while Austin Meadows gets the help that he needs. My thoughts are with Austin Meadows. My prayers are with Austin Meadows. And you may balk at that too. That's fine. But as a collective Detroit Tigers fan base, the best fan base for baseball in the world, our responses should be much more empathetic than what has been tossed around the depraved areas of the internet soft (laughs) really easy to talk tough behind a keyboard everybody let's stop doing that let's be better because we have a team that needs support we have a player specifically that needs our support and we're better than that like the Tigers are getting ready to take on the Toronto Blue Jays it's going to be a rough series they're a very good team probably one of the best teams in the American League which means that maybe the Tigers will show up like they did against the Astros. Things need to click. We know that. They haven't clicked, but it also has only been nine games. Could get worse. It can be better. And both things are true at the same time. Look, I'm AJ Riley. This has been The Corner. I want to remind you to make sure that you are following us on YouTube. Make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Share this video around. Like this video. And make sure you click that bell for notifications for more great Detroit Tigers content. We'll see you again Thursday as we talk about what happens in the Blue Jays series.